Hola, Iván. Hola, Elena. <laughs> so we are here again. Welcome back, everyone. And we have an interesting talk now, mm -hmm. isn't it? So we have this guy. This guy. Yeah, he's a guy. He's a young guy. He's a very young guy. <laughs> he's Alvaro845. Um, he's a content creator with millions of, of followers, mm -hmm. of fans in the internet. Mm -hmm. And he's an expert in bringing the community of gamers and mobile games together to create that conversation, that community. Um, That's very important for players. For I mean, players. The work that uh, Alvaro and other content creators uh, do for players is uh, really important these days, especially. But it's also very important for game developers and game publishers. One of the most challenging things for a game developer and a game publisher is getting their game in front of many people around. Yeah, them. how do you do that? Mm -hmm. No, That could be the question. Yeah. With no money, sometimes we, every, every developer wants the big creators like Alvaro to play their games and to show their games to the world. And we were wondering how we, or more than that, we were wondering why those two worlds that seems to be so aligned, uh -huh. why they are still so separated. Sometimes why when you, yeah, they, when you talk to a developer, to talk to they don't talk to each other. So we wanted to make that happen here. To uh, bring a, a great uh, content creator like Alvaro together with a great game designer uh, like Samuel. Like Samuel mm -hmm. Fukui, who is not only a game designer, but he is a content creator and a YouTuber as well, so yeah, he can he's, understand. Yeah, he's not, he's not only a game designer. That's not the main reason. I mean, it's, it's one of the reasons why we brought Samuel here. But the other reason is Samuel is a great content creator himself. He does a very good job uh, connecting with all the other developers, showing them uh, things about the industry, uh, teaching them about game design. And I think getting them both together would make like a quite a unique and very interesting, interesting conversation. conversation. Yeah. So let's say hello to them. And yep. also they are very near us. They they, well, I think Samuel, Samuel is a few meters away from here. Maybe I don't know how many meters. Him, yeah, he's here in Barcelona. And uh, Alvaro is not so far away from here. It's just a couple, of way, uh, a couple of hours away from here, up in the mountains of uh, beautiful Andorra. So jealous, huh? Mm -hmm. OK, so let's welcome them. Yeah. Are you guys there? Hello, Samuel. Hello, Alvaro. Hi, guys. Hello. It's, great to have, it's great to have you both here. You are both like um, you, you've been at Game Lab uh, several times before, and it's always a pleasure to have you back. And, and for this very, very practical and very useful uh, uh, topic for for game developers, especially. So I let you just uh, discuss these uh, these ideas and get us some information that is useful for for uh, our projects and our companies. Okay, uh, thanks Ivan for the introduction. Thank you for inviting us to Game Lab. Um, I think uh, many game developers are going to find this uh, panel, this chat, very interesting because I think this is a hot topic nowadays and it's a very important one. Uh, so, welcome everyone. Thanks for being with us. Um, first of all, uh, I want to address to Alvaro uh how should all um the video content creators youtubers streamers or influencers what is the best word to define what uh, you are doing okay uh well uh welcome everybody and thank you very much for for being uh, on the screen watching uh i hope you find the, the panel useful 
and uh, yeah, I, I will share uh, as much uh, as I know. I mean, uh, um, I don't feel myself as an expert of the of the topic, but uh, but well, I mean, I've been I've been doing uh, or creating videos on on YouTube for over seven years uh, right now, so um, I got quite experience on that. I mean, I I don't feel like uh, different from. Where, what I start doing at the at the very beginning, I just wanted to to record a video and and show it to my friends. I I just wanted to to share a experience. So, um, if you wanna put in in different words, uh, I was trying to to cover one social aspect of the of a game that it wasn't covered in game. It was class of plans, by by the way. And uh, at that point, uh, you couldn't share, for example, a replay of your attack. So I just uploaded one video and then another so i mean i it didn't it didn't make me a, a different person or, or or different approach to the to the game just because i was uploading videos so uh, for the day of the chat we are going to say that because there are different kind of uh, uh, video content creators one of them maybe are more focused on entertaining and other ones are more hardcore games another one are more focused on eSports. So uh, because there are so different kind of uh, uh, creators, they, we are going to call them creators, OK? Um, and you here as uh, one of, of them uh, and talking from your experience. Um, I think um, one of the first questions for a game developer when trying to think about is it worth it to talk with a video content creator uh, how i'm going to uh, contact with them uh, before all that all, all those questions come to my mind the first one is when to contact uh, a video content creator i mean usually uh, a, a video game developer when uh, is doing a video game when he's developing the video game is focused on doing the best game possible to finish the game and then when the game is already finished is in the final stages uh, the thought of okay i'm going to need promotion now i'm going to contact with a, a video content creator uh, so usually it's the last stages. Is it the right time to contact a video content creator or a game developer should contact a video game content creator before, in earlier stages? Yeah, I think it depends on the on the creator itself. I mean, uh, how how busy uh, he or she is, uh, because uh, on, my, on my case, for example, I, I don't have much time to, to get involved in in the in the development of a of a new video game um it also depends on the personality of the creator i mean some of them they don't don't like or don't want to to get involved in the game i mean i, I just want the game i just want to play the game and that's fine i mean that's perfect and others like all the the programming stuff or maybe they are they are graphists or artists as well so they 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 like to to know more about the lore of the of the characters or or how the the game has been made so it depends on the on the creator itself uh, my experience is that um as long as you as you get bigger and bigger uh, and you get more more numbers you usually are more busy and you have to deal with more with more game studios that are interested in promoting the their games more brands uh, who wants to advertise on your on your content so uh, you have less time to to just try try an alpha or try a, a beta to to see how, how it goes or how, how the game feels and and also i think i think it's not very useful for for game developers uh, either because I mean, at the end, if you want to, as you mentioned, Samuel, if you want to create the best possible game and you are working on that, I mean, um, you don't need or you don't necessarily need the opinion of a creator about about your game. You just need to have a group to test your game, to 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 fix all all bugs or 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 add all all the features you you want to have in the, in your game. And then when you have a finished product, I think that's the the best moment to to reach a a, a creator. And um, I, I've also faced it with uh, some uh, some issues with with some creators who contacted me in a very early stage or when they were soft launching, for example. And um, in, I mean, the, this is my my own perspective, but I, I don't want or I don't like to create content about a game that 
uh, it's only accessible for a small part of my audience. So let's say that okay, this game this game is soft launched in, in only in in Spain and only on iOS devices. Uh, talking about mobile games because my my content is is mainly mobile, but I mean of course th this is. Uh, the, the same argument uh, is is useful for any platform. But uh, so let's say it's soft launched in Spain and only for iOS devices. So for me, I mean, there is no point in in, in making a YouTube video about a game that is not accessible for all my Android uh, users, for my Mexican audience, because they will get angry. Maybe they like the game and say, "Hey, I want to try it." Oh, you can't. So. Um, I think that the, the best moment to reach a creator is when the when the product is it's ready and uh, and you have like a, your your final version that you you want to launch and and you wanna you wanna see how how the world uh, receive it. Okay, but what if uh, the developers um, are going to offer you kind of an exclusivity time where you are one of the first ones that can try the game? even the game is not already available for the public. That kind of um, exclusivity content uh, feels you more important, feels that the um, developers care about uh, um, the of, of, of the big game uh, content? Yeah, I mean, uh, in that situation, it might depend on the um, on the on the game we are talking about. So if we are talking about uh, a mainstream title, or let's say like the second part of a video game. I mean uh, that the, the the community was uh, looking for uh, so much for a uh, for looking forward uh, so much for for a long time. I mean in that situation, I I, I would say yes. But uh, when talking about uh, let's say a, a a new game or indie game or a game that it's it's not proven that it's gonna be a uh, mainstream. Then in that situation, it's not that uh, that useful for the for the creator. So, <clears throat> I mean, it it, dep it depends completely on the game. But when when you, I mean, in some situations you will find that. Uh, so let's say that uh, uh, this creator is a specialist on first person shooter games, and he's willing for to a new title with new technology or whatever. I mean, in that situation, that creator might be himself interested in in getting that uh, accessibility to that to that fresh new new content so exclusivity for him uh, would be something to consider but uh, bear in mind that if you offer exclusivity to one creator that means that you are not open to get more creators on board so i mean it's it's always a, a tricky part but uh, yeah i mean it depends of course if the title is mainstream then of course you you will get the interest of many creators on uh, on exclusive content if it's not mainstream it has to prove it then i think that uh, the creators specialize in that gender of games will i mean call to your door to knock to your door to to ask for content okay so we we've already established the first uh, stage or or what would be the first step of uh thinking about i'm I'm doing a video game and I'm thinking about uh, contacting a, a, a content creator. Okay, uh, how do we contact uh, those creators? Because there are so many nowadays. There are so many on YouTube. There are so many on Twitch. How how do you choose who who you want to contact? There is there is no list. You have to surf the web. You have to ask uh, over there. You have to watch a lot of videos to see what they are doing, what kind of uh, influencer he is or she is. So. Do you have any tip or uh, advice on that? Uh, I mean, it's it's it seems okay, like a uh, hard work to to figure out yeah, who, who you're aiming for. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is definitely. I mean, uh, yeah, I have bad news here. I mean, I I don't have any any pro tip or or like the the the, the right way to to approach this. I mean, of course, uh, the internet is is, is full of uh, YouTubers, streamers, all sizes. And and it's kind of difficult to to reach all uh, all of them. Um, as I said, I think that the interest of um, of the YouTubers or creators uh, varies as as they they get bigger. They they focus more on on business only. Uh, and then we are talking about uh, cost of the promotion uh, and at the end money or budget that you have for for your marketing campaign. Uh, when you when you dive into the, the the small creators or creators that, that are starting the, their career then over there it's more difficult to find uh, good people but uh, you can get 
someone with a genuine interest in your game. And that's, I think, the the the, the good catch uh, for you. I mean, uh, let me let me introduce you or, or or talk about one one thing that happened uh, happened to me. And it, it was when when I, back in the days I was uh, I just read um, one hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, which which is a, a huge milestone. And it was it was huge for me at the moment. Uh, right now it's it's like uh, nothing. But uh, when, when <laughs> but at that moment it was super important to uh, to me. And uh, I at that point I I. I haven't made uh, so many promotions for brands or or advertising on or new games. I mean, because I, I was still small and I was in the niche of, of mobile gaming. So, um, yeah, I was just putting my content out there and trying to grow my, my community. And um, Super Evil Mega Corp was a, was a game studio, mobile games. They developed Vainglory and they reached me by email and, uh, and said, hey, um would you like to upload one one gameplay of our video if you like it and uh, and if you want we can give away for your community uh i, I remember it was a headset or two headsets worldwide blah 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 and i was hey great i mean i i got new content to to just make one video and my fans uh, are gonna be happy because we are giving away one headset i mean it's it was just one, 100 bucks so it, it was it was not much and uh, and they they deal with everything. Uh, so I made the video, uh, organized the giveaway, select a, a random winner, and then next day I got another email, and they were inviting me and covering all costs to to visit them in in San Francisco. And for me, it was like, oh my god! I mean, a first game game studio like trusting in me and trusting in my content, and and uh, I mean they they care about about my opinion, and and they just share. Everything, all the all the development of the game, uh, talk with the team, uh, meeting other creators. I mean, because they, we were like ten, so it was it was super fun. And uh, and from that point, I mean, it, it was it was easy uh, for for us. I mean, to build kind of a relationship in which I uploaded the the game without no no request. Some sometimes, I mean, I, I didn't feel there were like new fresh new content on the game, so I didn't I didn't upload. But then the game uh, updates, and then I have more content, so I keep up, uh, uploading. And they invited uh, invited me for new new events. So I mean, that kind of relationship, I think it's a, it's a win win for both parts and uh, and as i said it depends a lot on the on the stage of the of the creator because if right now today i i get the same email from a random guy i mean asking that we develop a new game upload a video and we will um, be giving away whatever on my on my audience i won't pay that email uh, that uh, as much attention as i did in the in the past so i mean it it may might depend on, on the um, on the on the stage of the creator or the size of the creator but at the at the end i think that what you have to look for is to to build that kind of of relations i mean it doesn't matter if it's just because you are paying a huge marketing campaign you are offering a revenue share you you have a creator program with a x or y benefits for the creator or you are just trusting or helping one small creator to grow or or giving away stuff for for his community so I mean that's that's the difficult part, and and the only way to do, to do that is I mean of course you can contact an agency, marketing agencies, and and so on, and they can facilitate uh, the job for, for you. But at the end, an agency will offer you the creators they they have in the in their portfolio. So I mean if you wanna do the things uh, rightly done, I mean you have to, to to do it by by yourself and to to dive into on into the internet and and search. The right personalities, the right creators you you want to get on board. Yeah, you have to dig deep in the in the channels yeah. and and try to find out the the right person. Uh, but obviously here the, the money is a is a, an important factor. If you have money, you can choose whoever you want. You can go to bigger uh, creators or smaller ones, and you can uh, offer uh, giveaways or you can offer a, a partnership program or you can. Uh, offer a long uh, term relationship or uh, a big uh, budget for a big promotion or whatever uh what about people that maybe is uh, watching us they are small indie games uh, small indie creators um how they can approach uh content creators without 
no budget, without no money. I mean, uh, that situation is is very tricky and very difficult. Um, I, I would I would say to to invest uh, in in marketing and try and try to focus on on marketing and promotion as much as they focus on on developing the game. I mean, we are in the marketing era, and uh, it doesn't matter that you have the the best product if you can't tell the people or show the people that your product is actually the best. So. I mean, it's. Uh, I know it's. It, it might be disappointing for for many people, but that, that it's how it is. I mean, of course, you you can develop a game. It can be good or bad, and you you might be lucky enough to to get PewDiePie to to play your Flappy Bird brand new game, and then your 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 game it's is mainstream. I mean, that it could happen, and and zero zero dollars on on marketing budget, and uh, and you got successful, but. Uh, the reality is the 99% of the of the games won't get that luck. So I mean, with that, uh, what I, what I mean is that uh, as I mean, if you are creating a video game, if you are, uh, if you have a, another different company in a different industry or sector, I mean, you have to invest a, a, a great portion of your of your budget on on marketing in 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 one way or another. I mean, it, it, as as I said, I mean, it, you don't need to to spend thousands and thousands of, of dollars, but you need to spend something and you, you need to, to get a plan. I mean, of course, I mean, uh, flying me uh, at that point, uh, I, I, I gave the Super El Mega Corp example, flying me from Madrid to, to San Francisco. I mean, it's expensive, of course, but it's not as expensive as, as other marketing campaigns that we have seen with different games. I mean, um, can you imagine how much, for example, Electronic Arts spent on the Apex Legends launch when they pull all the creators to to California to play their game and to live stream their 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 new battle royale? I mean, uh, of course, I mean, in between nothing, a huge amount of marketing campaign. There are a lot of points, and and I think that uh, of course you you cannot have uh, unlimited budget. But with the budget you have, you it has to be something, and then you 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 need to invest that budget wisely, and 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 to, I mean, if if you have a lot of money, you you can just directly go to the to the to the big whales, uh, uh, big creators, and just say, hey, how much for doing X, and and you you will get the things done. If you don't have that much money, then you have to go as as uh, as we mentioned, uh, Samuel, that you have to go deep in on the on the channels, try to try to find brand new creators push their careers and and try to to get the, those win-win relationships and uh, you mentioned a, a good example that uh, happened to you with a company uh, that they offer a giveaway for you and they pay you for a, a travel to their offices uh what other examples of good but also maybe bad uh, relationships uh, without mention names, uh, maybe. Um, what what other examples can you give uh, of uh, what other companies uh, did uh, when they uh, contact with you and you thought, hey, they are they are doing good and they are uh, uh, having a good message to me, or maybe you thought the other way, oh, they are they are creepy. I don't want to go with them or whatever. Yeah, I mean, for for me, it was um, it's important to um, uh, to to know about the game. Uh, not much. I mean, I, I I don't I don't need to to get an email with with a, a a huge text explaining me how the game was made. I mean, this is so important for us. Blah blah blah. But I I, I need a few pictures and the links to to just uh, try it for free. And uh, and uh, and let me let me know what what you think, or maybe a trailer with uh, with all the game features uh, to to see how how the how the game looks and how the game feels uh, at the um, uh, first impression of the of the game. Um, I don't I don't like the the emails I got uh, like uh, hey try my my new writer my new game. I mean it's gonna be a, a hit. And if you are not trying it, I mean, you are you are losing an opportunity, and it's like super, <laughs> super, super, super aggressive. aggressive that, yeah. Kind of, yeah, that kind of emails I, I don't like much. So um, it's it's difficult to find like the the perfect uh, the perfect way to, of communication, and I, I, I'm 
I mean, I'm also aware that it depends on how, how you feel at the moment that you are you are reading an, an email. You might be happy, then everything is is Mr. Wonderful, and then uh, you might be having a horrible day, and then everything is like okay, delete, 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 and and uh, and that's it. So I mean. The, there is no like the the the, the rule book that the, okay follow these steps and, and, and you will get successful. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but but it's really difficult. What, what, what I can say is that um, I'm liking a lot the 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 past. I mean, it has been happening the the recent years. All all those creator programs started by 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 big companies. Probably the 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 biggest the biggest one or the first big one was the was the epic games um content creator program with the with the revenue share uh with the content codes uh, in game uh, to share i think it's 10 percent of the of the uh, net income that they get on on skins on fortnite and so on i mean it was huge for the creators and, and i realized of the of the um, of the power of, the, of those programs when i was talking with uh, with some colleagues some creators big ones in in spain and they told me that uh, hey i'm getting probably more income from from the from the the revenue share program than from advertising on on my youtube videos my twitch live streams etc uh so at the end even if the popularity of the games falls down i mean i will keep uploading i will keep creating content on the game because it's it's worth for for me in terms of of business and of course i mean because it's a revenue share and it's only a small percentage it's it's of course profitable for the for the game developer as well so uh with that um my games uh, uh, or my content is mainly mobile gaming so my um, i upload usually games from supercell and i told supercell community managers <clears throat> Hey guys, you need to develop something like that to to deal with all the creators or all the all the people um, you are working with. I mean, because of course I'm happy uh, doing videos of your game and and your game. I mean, still get get me views, so it's fine. <clears throat> but what happens if uh, next year, I mean, your popularity goes down and, and then a new game arises? I, I will I will switch my content unless I have a, a different motivation or business motivation, if you want to call that way, uh, to keep posting your your content. So they develop the Supercell Creators program, and it's similar to 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 Epic Games. Of course, you have to to reach different tiers, and in in the in the above tiers, you you can get that uh, that call to to get some revenue share. Of the of the money that uh, that players or uh, my audience spend in game, so that kind of programs, I mean, are super useful. And and the the last one I joined is uh, Frogmine. It's a, a smaller studio, its own actually by by Supercell, and and they created a, a new revenue uh, revenue share program for creators. And it's like uh, the first thirty days of a of a new user you get to uh, to our game. Uh, will give you the hundred percent of the of the all the all the all the money they spend in game. I mean, of course, minus all the 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 fees for Google Play Store, Apple Store, and and so on. But the, the net income will go to you the first thirty days. So, I mean, those kind of of uh, of projects, it's always variable. I mean, you don't have to invest like a a, a huge ton of of money on that. Um, if you are a small studio, maybe you don't have the credibility to, mm, or you haven't proved to to have launched previously a successful uh, game. But of course, you can compensate that with some data or some estimations you you may have, or or explain more how you will monetize or how or, I mean what you expect to 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 earn with the with the with the program. So I mean. There, the, as, as I mentioned at the, at the at the beginning, the previous question. I mean, from zero budget to like unlimited budget. I mean, there are a lot of gray stones that you can yeah, you you can work or deal with. <clears throat> okay, so let's imagine now that we are in the third step. So the first step was uh, when to contact the influencers, and I realized, okay, now is the moment that my game is uh, in good shape and I want to show the game uh, to the world. Now, uh, the second uh, step was uh, who uh, I want to contact. Uh, I already dig uh, deep down uh, on the net and I found uh, some good creators and I um, 
uh, deal uh, with them uh, with some uh, uh, good partnership or with good dealings. Uh, now, the third step would be what what my game should be or should have in order to be successful. I mean, there are some specific, in your opinion and your experience, uh, do you think there are some specific genres, game, game genres, that have better um, uh, successful in uh, in the video platforms, or maybe uh, not only game genres, but some gameplay mechanics that are more successful. What kind of video game do you think that is more successful in uh, for your audience? Yeah, I mean, it de it depends. Uh, you 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 say that the, at the end, Samuel, it depends on the on the um, on the audience you you have. So uh, this might vary for from one creator to to another. But uh, it, it's completely true that some some games are like ideal for YouTube or Twitch, and other games might be I mean impossible to to do good content on them, even though the game might be successful. I mean. First example, I'm sorry for using all the time mobile mobile games, but it's my my speciality. Uh, Candy Crush. I mean, Candy Crush is probably on the on the top of the grossing games uh, forever, and it's uh, super difficult or, or even impossible to, to to do gameplay of of Candy Crush because uh, there is no point of of watching that. Um, I mean, games with a lot of action. With uh, with clear matches, uh, easy to catch up. I mean, um, if you go to a game super complicated that you you just jump into a a footage or 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 video on YouTube and you don't understand what's going on there because it's super complex and you you need to to finish like a dozen of tutorials to to at least start understanding what's going on there. And in that situation, I mean, the game might, might not be successful on YouTube. If you have a, a gameplay which is super clear. That uh, okay, you have to to score points that way, and or um, I mean that's easy to to follow up. I mean in in that things on on football soccer. I mean it's like a, you might not understand the rules, but uh, or all the rules, but the main rules are super super easy. You you can only use your feet, and you have to to put the ball uh, to to score a goal on the uh, about the the goalkeeper. So I mean. That it's the same with with video games. I mean, it, and it doesn't it, it doesn't mean that a, a, a super complex game might not be successful on on YouTube or Twitch because it's it's not true. Uh, you can you can go right now on Twitch and you will see thousands of people watching uh, chess matches, which is like the super slow, super complex, super strategy. But I mean, uh, of course, there's always audience for all the games but if you want to get a mainstream game you need action you 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 need probably bright colors uh things easy to understand might not be easy to play but easy to understand and easy to watch yeah uh, i would add in, in in my opinion um i think that games that have a lot of replayability and that uh, every match is different Every game playthrough is different because the the game has random elements, or because the game is online, and uh, every time you uh, go into a match, uh, there are different people doing different things. Uh, are very very good in in that regard for for uh, video, I think, because uh, every new video is different, so you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it's different from single player games where there's a story, there are more linears and. And if you watch a video, probably it's going to be the same as other uh, content creator, probably. Yeah, I mean, it's just the content creator, different content creators reacting to the same same story. So so exactly. So yeah, I mean, I I like that that kind of uh, I mean for YouTube that kind of uh, endless stories or endless games with different matches every time. I mean, those are perfect. And if the if the game is free to play. And uh, it has other ways of monetization. I mean, it's it's better. Uh, well, by the way, one thing that it's important if you if you want your game to to be broadcasted or live stream on on YouTube or Twitch, um, monetization via advert uh, ads in game is not super good because I, I mean, at least for me, 
I don't feel good uh, uploading a video, a video game with a lot of ads because I feel that I, I'm uploading ads to to my yeah. to to my people. Of course, you usually uh, are able to to buy a no ads pack or whatever and pay something to to get rid of ads. But some games doesn't have that tool. I, I don't understand why. So uh, I mean, bear that in mind. I mean, it's a super simple question. I mean, that just mm, I mean. You you should be able to remove ads in case you 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 want your game to be live stream. Okay, and uh, to finish this uh, this block of of questions uh, about the successful uh, among uh, influencers and, and content creators, uh, for me it's very interesting and and I think it's. Uh, quite unique you're successful because as you said uh, your expertise is on mobile games uh, but I don't see so much content creators focus on mobile games uh, you go to Twitch right now and the top 10 games or top 20 even they are all PC and console games so how did you manage that uh, do you think that uh, is difficult or uh, how could you be in that niche and be so successful for for our audience to understand, you have more than 4 million uh, subscribers on YouTube. So that's a huge amount of people invested and interested on mobile games. Yeah, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, when, I, when I started on, on YouTube, I, I just uh, look for the competitors, if you want to see that way. I mean, they, they, they are not. I mean, uh, on uh, all the creators uh, we see as part of the, of the same industry and we try to to grow the the global audience all together. I mean, every everybody in the in their different uh, game. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah, there was nobody uh, uh, doing uh, YouTube videos in in Spanish for mobile games. So I said, hey, I mean, there there is a bunch of creators, really good creators, uploading videos on on P uh, about PC or console games. And nobody's doing that for for mobile, and and I strongly believe that the accessibility that you have with mobile devices is way higher than uh, the accessibility you you may have with PC or console games. So I mean that's my 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 perspective, and I I decided to to invest in that, and and then three years ago when I when I decided to to found and uh, and to start a esport organization, Team Queso. I mean it's also focus on, on mobile games of course we compete in league of legends counter strike and, and like the the main esport titles but um we are we are global leaders on, on mobile games because it was again a niche not <laughs> with no competitors or no much competitors so so yeah, once you you get the the the, the p1 then uh, it's easier for you to to keep to keep growing um so so yeah i mean uh most of my my examples are are on, on mobile games and uh, and it, and it's I mean uh, it's kind of uh, I don't I don't think that it's uh, you you can only success in one platform or or, or another uh, so I mean for me it was mobile games my examples are with mobile games I think I think accessibility is great for mobile games and 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 yes if you go to Twitch I mean maybe it's not it's not very important but if you go to to YouTube gaming then uh, mobile games are are more important and you can go to to free fire competitions and, and you may see 2 million concurrent viewers and see that uh, hey maybe the counter is back no it's not back I mean uh, they they got that amount of viewers with a mobile game free to play so I mean, it it depends on the on the region. It depends on the platform. It depends on the game. And and yeah, you can you can be successful in in any platform with 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 any any game at the end. Okay, so uh, for the last uh, step uh, I had in uh, in my questions, um, let's uh, think about uh, all the way uh, from the beginning to here. We already contact the influencers at the right time uh, the influence uh, we contact is the right person uh, he or she is doing good content um the game is doing good people like it uh but now how the game developers can measure the success i mean uh, i know because uh, some colleagues some developers uh, have um, talked about talk about this with me uh, about their uh, worries of some video games 
uh, becoming a show rather than a video game. So they are worried and afraid that maybe some audience are going to watch a game, but they are not going to play it or they are not going to buy it. So do you think that's a real uh, fear uh, that developers uh, have and you understand it? Or do you think that is not the reality that people that watch uh, this kind of content, eventually they are going to play as well? Because that's what the developers want. Okay, I'm going to contact with the influencer. The influencer is going to play. He's showing the game, but at the end, I want the people viewing the game to buy the game and play the game. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I think that uh, right now the 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 new or, or the most successful monetization models of games are those free to play, and with that, it's really easy to to encourage people to try the game. Actually, I mean, hey, no, do not only watch the game. I mean, you can you can try it, and um, that's that's more difficult if you are playing or or creating content about a game that hey, if you wanna play it, you have to pay whatever because they they might not be they might not want to to pay or maybe they say hey this this is a story and i've already watched the story uh, uh, you playing the game so I, I no need for me to to buy the the game or to to experience the the, the story the, it depends on the gender of the of the game uh, at the end i mean <clears throat> um you 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 can you can think uh, about this in the in the same way of of a uh, of a film producer, I mean, uh, you you want to create like the the perfect movie, the 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 perfect for for all the the specialists or all the or the journalists to to write good things about your your movie, or you actually want your movie to be watched on all cinemas, and and then you 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 start discussing if if all the the, the new movies that are created in in Hollywood with with the huge budgets are good movies or bad movies uh, because you cannot measure the success the success of the of a movie just in terms of the of the of the money they, they got in in the in the cinemas uh, here i think that um if you, if you want to promote your game on on youtube uh you have to be to be ready for for the success uh, the potential successful or, or your game that it might become a mainstream and when a game becomes a mainstream, I mean, you you will face different ways to of of approach to your game for people. For some of them, it, it might only be a show. For others, it might be uh, actually a core thing or, or a core game. Uh, so, I mean, you, you can't control that. Uh, it's it's really difficult. Uh, you can you what you can control is the the campaigns or or the or the, or the programs that you have launched uh, in collaboration with creators and you can you can say hey I got uh, X amount of downloads from this creator those downloads uh, reach me X amount of uh, of income I mean that's fine and that's what you can measure. The rest, it's uh, you can't control the the internet. You you can't control the trolls who wants to to make memes of, of your game in, in case uh, your game is memeable, and that's not bad itself. I mean, because it it's I mean it's free promotion at the at the end. I mean, maybe not the promotion you want, but promotion at the end. So I mean, you you have to be ready to, uh, or you you have to understand that you can't control the uh, internet or YouTube. Uh, and once your game is on, on YouTube or Twitch or whatever platform, I mean, I'm talking about all the, the video platforms or live stream platforms. I mean, uh, at that moment, you might have lost the control on, on your product, but I mean, it's not necessarily bad. I mean, in my opinion, it's completely good. Okay, so um, we have five minutes left. Um, and I wanted for the last question, to invite you to use your imagination and think about the future because uh, 10 years ago uh, there was barely no YouTube, there was no Facebook gaming, there was no Twitch, uh, or, or at least they were not as important as they are today. Uh, how do you see those platforms and this relationship between game developers and content creators in 10 years from the future? Well, I mean, uh, impossible to know. Uh, right, right now, all, all the video platforms are, are fighting for for content, especially on the on the live stream. 
I mean, you've seen uh, Twitch, Mixer, uh, Facebook gaming, uh, YouTube, and I uh, knew that uh, that might come, others that might might fall. So it's it's really difficult to um, to see the future. I mean, particularly because uh, uh, on the video game industry or on the internet, I mean, one year is long term for 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 me. So I mean, imagine imagine ten year ten years later. But um, I think that the relationships between uh, game developers and creators uh, will continue. Um, we have seen in the in the last year even creators um, getting involved on the game itself. Creators launching their own games. We we show that with with PewDiePie, for example, and with other creators uh, here in Spain. Um, um, we we have seen uh, some games that include in game the IP of or the assets of the of some creators uh, in game to to strength the, the 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 relationship with the creator and with the with their community so i mean those kind of things i think that they will they will go and go and go and 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 it's it's i mean it's uh, it all matters of uh, it's all matter of time and to to find like the the best way to to establish those relationship with with the creators to get like the the right approach in the right moment and, and yeah sometimes that's just a matter of of uh, of luck but um, but yeah, I mean, as, as I said, I mean, all the all the panel, I mean, there is no rule book. I'm sorry, uh, I cannot give you like the, the 10 steps that you, you have to follow uh, to 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 get your game on, on YouTube and be successful because uh, there is no that, such a, a rule book. I, I wish I, I have one, but um, but it's not uh, it's not the case. Uh, I mean, I'm completely open anyway. I mean, to, because every every case is different. I mean, I'm completely open to to keep discussing this. Uh, I mean, in all my social media videos, you you might find an an email, and I eventually might my answer at some at some point. I wish. I mean, fingers crossed. But um, but yeah, I mean, on social media, and so I mean, I, I'm I I'm always open to to try new titles. Uh, indie titles. I, I've played a lot of uh, indie games in the in in the past and nowadays. Um, I I keep entering a uh, new creators program of of new studios. Uh, so I mean. I'm always open to to explore that that kind of that ways of cooperate with uh, with uh, game studios and uh, and eventually to 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 make money both. I mean because uh, uh, what I mean the key is to to find the the the, the right win win situation for for both creator and and game developer. That 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 that's that's ideal. I mean for for us we get views, we get exposure, uh, we we leverage our our personal brands and for for game developer i mean they, they get promotion of the of the game and visibility and a new audience and potentially new players income blah 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 <clears throat> okay so uh, thanks alvaro i think we learned uh, a lot uh, thanks your ex thanks to your experience um it's it's uh, uh, I think what we learn is that this is a difficult uh, situation, difficult uh, media complex one with many different kind of uh, content creators. Uh, every ca every case is different. Even if we had a, a, a book of uh, the steps uh, of how to proceed in in this case, uh, maybe this book would be uh, useless in two years from the future or five years. So uh, there's no right answer for all, all the questions. Uh, but at least it's, it's uh, good to know that uh, there is um, an intention from uh, content creators to understand the game developers and the other way around. I think uh, it's clear that uh, we need each other. And uh, the, the best situation, as you said uh, at the end, is like a win-win situation for both of us to have good content, to have a, a, a good influencer or content creator that can show this content and have visibility that is nowadays the main problem for, for the video game industry. So thanks, Alvaro, for, for being here. And thanks, everyone who watched the panel. And I think uh, it was very interesting. Uh, and I hope you, uh, you had a good time. Thanks. Thank you so much, you. Uh, Alvaro and, and Samuel. Um, it's a lot of uh, information, a very good insight into uh, how to uh, make that relation uh, between um, content creators and, uh, and developers uh, more fluid, better. Um, one last question, if you just let me take a little bit of advantage of having you here, uh, uh, in this case, especially Alvaro. Uh, I would mm -hmm. like to ask you uh, if you dare to tell us 
uh, to try to anticipate why, what would be like the next uh, you know, phenomenon, in, in this case, in mobile gaming, that is the, the space that you move uh, um, around, right? What is the, the, the game that is right there waiting to take off and it's doing great and it's growing uh, faster now? And yeah. It could be like very great game for, for content creators and we're going to see a lot. And also, uh, who is that a streamer? Uh, mobile games a streamer or games a streamer that you see is even if, if he or she is not like um, super popular at the moment, but it's doing great and will be like a, someone to take into account in the, in the future. Yeah, sure. So yeah, I, uh, I will start for the, um, with the last question. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know because it, it might, I mean, it depends on the on the on the game you 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 are thinking about. Uh, I mean, maybe it's a strategy game, maybe it's a puzzle game, maybe it's a, um, I don't know a RPG action game. So it, it it might vary from from one people to to another or one creator to to another, and uh, different developer teams uh, have different needs. So it's I mean you you have to work case by case uh, and you have to to do all the work I, I I hope that with with all the with all the panel uh, to give some some guidance or or some some light to, to about how to start that that work of, of looking for the perfect fit for your, for your creators or or to promote your, your game and regarding the the next uh, like hit or mainstream with with mobile games i mean uh, about mobile games um right now um i think all the community is is waiting for for wild rift uh, the the mobile version of league of legends the popular pc game um we, we have seen in uh, especially in asia in china uh, southeast asia a lot of success with different titles of uh, movas played on 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 the phone um none of those titles uh, have reached like a great success in the west region uh, north america europe or south america in even in South America, we, we saw like uh, our great success of uh, of Free Fire as a battle royale title. Uh, PUBG Mobile is is growing so fast in, in India and Asia as well, and uh, not that much in in, in South America, but but also. Um, and I think that uh, that right now the the mobile community is uh, is looking. Uh, I mean, is waiting for the, the launch of, uh, of Wild Rift to see how it goes uh, and if they can finally succeed in, in the West uh, region. Uh, besides that, I mean, there, there are a lot of uh, new games uh, coming, going out. So, I mean, um, we'll see, we'll see, because uh, at, the, at the end, any, any title can, can jump into the market uh, and become eventually a mainstream on, on mobile games. I mean, super easy, accessibility is there. I mean, everybody has, the, has a phone and uh, an accessibility to, to the Google Play Store or Apple Store. Okay, looking forward to, to seeing how those games go and how you play them uh, along with your, with your team, with, with Team Kess or some of them. So thank you once again, both of you. It's been a great pleasure to have you back in this uh, virtual uh, stage this time, but hopefully in a real one very soon. I'll see you around. Thank you very Have much for the invitation. Bye-bye.